Okay, Ricers, we're back on this race car shit. Today, I am going to Poon Sup Market. If that sounds familiar, it's probably because you watch my Poon Sup Market video tour. This market specializes in custom parts and accessories for cars, diesel trucks, and motorbikes. See what I'm saying? This entire market is full of these custom parts like this. So why am I back here? I've already done a video tour of Poon Sup Market. Well, I'm back here for a specific reason. A friend of mine actually owns a race shop here that specializes in modifying custom diesel trucks. And he has a twin turbo race slash show truck that I wanted to come check out. And I'm bringing you guys with me, of course. A bunch of you guys have been asking me about the motorbike racing scene here in Thailand. I'm sure you've seen videos elsewhere. And yes, I do plan on filming that subgenre, subculture of the motorsports industry here in Thailand. I was actually supposed to go to a massive motorbike race about two to three weeks ago. And because of the current situation, it got shut down, unfortunately, or, or postponed to a later date. So make sure that you're subscribed to see motorbike culture here in Thailand. So I'm looking for my friend's shop. It's called Lucky Racing. They're in Hoonsup Market somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure where. But I know it when I'll see it because wait till you see the truck I'm checking out today. It is badass. I'm going to guess I found it. Just my guess. Check out the Z. Nice. Car audio is still a major thing here in Thailand. Like crazy custom audio systems are still super popular. This shop behind me just blasting music while I'm trying to film is a car audio shop. But the news is, is Lucky Shop has a new location. I came to the right place, but what they're going to do is they're going to pick me up and they're going to take me to their new shop. Okay, so we're here at the new Lucky Racing Shop and this is the truck that I was wanting to check out. It's a 2010 Azuzu D-Max turbo diesel, three liter inline four with two turbos. What makes this build so special is the quality of the actual build. When you look at the engine bay, look at how clean and beautiful everything is. It's wire tucked, shaved. I mean, this is artwork this is automotive artwork look at the titanium work on this truck who needs a core support right turbos are way more important and i love how the exhaust dumps out the hood after looking at this engine bay you're probably wondering well where is the radiator let me show you for obvious reasons those reasons being two turbos the radiator would not fit in the engine bay of the truck, so it has been relocated to the bed. We're definitely gonna get some video shots of this thing rolling coal. Man, the diesel truck builds here are so freaking cool. It's very strange. You know, in America, we love diesel trucks. We love big lifted F-350s and Duramaxes, but Thailand just has their own style when it comes to building diesel trucks. A lot of the trucks here in Thailand roll on T-37s or other types of Japanese wheels. Not this truck. This truck uses weld racing wheels and Hoosiers. The rears are a massive 29 by 12 and a half Hoosier. As I'm sure you've noticed, the hood, fenders, and doors are all this beautiful large weave carbon again like i said at the beginning of this video the attention to detail in this build is one of the things that makes it so incredibly special even when you look through the interior you can tell everything was just done just to absolute perfection from the paint on the floorboard to the nitrous bottles in the back to the dash everything is showroom conditioned or upgraded it's beautiful. Wow. 
So this is a fresh build. It has not made it to a dyno yet, but they're expecting about 400 wheel horsepower before the nitrous, uh, which isn't bad for one of these diesel trucks. I'm not sure what the torque numbers would be. Let me ask. Okay, yep, my question just got answered. They're expecting around 400 wheel horsepower, but they're expecting north of, are you ready? 700 foot pounds of torque at the rear wheels. That's gonna be a fun truck. I'm sure you've noticed some other cool vehicles here. It's an Evo. This truck's pretty sweet. I'll show you all that stuff at a later date. Lucky Shop will be having their open house for their brand new shop in the coming weeks. And I'll be here checking out all the vehicles that show up. So stay tuned for that. Check out this compound setup. Thumbs up for turbos. These are the lines for the radiator setup. Just did a just a quick loop around the block. I had to go for a ride. I had to at least get one pull in. Man, that thing's actually pretty quick. What am I talking about? It's like 400 horsepower and like 700 foot pounds of torque. Of course, it's going to be quick. Man, that's freaking cool, man. I love it. Now we're gonna pull the truck over the side of the building. I'm gonna take some photos of it and those will be posted on my Instagram. Hit up the link in the description of this video, go to my website and then click on Instagram. Go over there, give me a follow and check out the photos of this truck. They're up right now.